I realized something today. I'm not happy. So really, there's only one fix. I'm gonna build a game. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Welcome to devlog number one. Now, in order to build a game, we first need an idea. We need a gold ticket idea to get us out of this mess. Here's the problem. I currently suck at game dev, and I also have a tendency of starting things and never finishing it. Oh, you think you've seen me attempt the same thing 10 months ago, then fail? Well, this time it's going to be different because I said so. It'll be good. I also am tired of working 75 hours a week doing something I hate. So building a game is the only thing keeping me sane. I have a long list of ideas, but most of them suck or are just very obvious ripoffs of other games. Does that mean an idea that blows up in our faces later? You saw nothing, just ignore that. Moving on. Now, before you can create a game, you need an idea. And really that's the hardest part. Am I gonna build an ad heavy game, make millions and live on a yacht? No, of course not. At least not right now. But the challenge is that just when I started gaining some momentum on ideas, I had to go back to work. I can't wait to sit in meetings and answer emails for the next nine hours. If this is living, then I am peaking. While I grinded away increasing shareholder value, I still had that itch in the back of my mind. What should I make a game about? I continue to work through ideas between working, taking the dog for a walk, and trying to undo all the damage I did to my body over the winter. Chips Ahoy cookies shouldn't taste as good as they do. It's not my fault. If anything, I am the victim. If you've also been a victim to Chips Ahoy cookies, then comment below. We're gonna form a, s a support group or something. As the day progressed, I decided there was only one thing I could do. I had to go back to the beginning, back to when I loved playing video games, back to when the perfect Friday night with your friends was a bag of Doritos, some Mountain Dew, and some good old video games. Unlike now where I've been sitting on my desk answering emails like a corporate zombie. Wait, corporate zombie? Corporate zombie? Corporate zombie? Wait, I might be onto something. What's the most evil thing in this world? Big corporations. Just ask anyone on Twitter. Between the pizza parties and Pizza, great equalizer. And layers of middle management, it's the perfect environment for hell to break loose. Wait, hell, hell, hello. Oh my Danny, I have an idea. It's probably the best idea anybody has ever had. I was supposed to wake up at 5 a.m. like every other successful business internet person, but instead I slept in. Not a great start. The problem is that it meant I had to start work right away. Dreams really do come true. When the workday finally ended, I could start mapping out the game. And just like that, I have the framework of a game. Let me walk you through it. You're gonna play as Dave, a former demon who retired from hell for a simpler life, something to help ease into retirement. So Dave decided to get a job at a big corporation and earn an honest living. But it didn't take long for Dave to realize that something was wrong, very, very wrong. Between the employee appreciation pizza parties, the meetings that could have been emails, and the constant reference to taking things offline, Dave realized something. In that moment, he realized that the true evil in this world is bureaucracy. Introducing Dave versus bureaucracy. You're gonna play as Dave as you battle through the entire evil corporation starting with the mailroom as they launch hordes of envelopes in your direction, dealing with HR who constantly gives you a hard time about the jokes you made at the Christmas party. They were funny jokes, okay? I'm sorry you don't have a sense of humor. Defeat middle management, upper management, and finally battle the evil CEO. Picture Left 4 Dead, but instead of zombies, you're battling real life corporate zombies. Because you see, you're here forever. Don't forget, you're here forever. Aww. Which feels more like real zombies. I woke up at 5 a.m. this time because I'm awesome and I finally have a reason to wake up in the morning. No longer do I lie awake all night, staring deep into the darkness, wondering what this is all about. One thing to keep in mind, I have not done any game dev in nearly a year, so I'm extremely rusty. But as my favorite YouTube game dev guy Danny once said, Always drink your milk for big and healthy bones, gamers. Milk. So did you guys see that Brackies is back, but also that Danny commented on it? Are they both coming back? Could we be entering the golden era of YouTube game dev? Probably not. First things first, we need to get some basic character movement down because without character movement, we just have my life to last 10 years working for a big corporation. I hate myself. I originally used Unity starter assets, but after reading through the script, it makes me want to go back to doing these random spicy challenge videos. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a phase, okay? So I went to the only place where all the world's knowledge is stored. YouTube. More specifically, I watched a Bracky's tutorial on creating a first person controller. Let me ask you a question. If I offered you $30 million for the company, would you take it? This is Dave. He's currently a bean. Everyone say hi to Bean Dave. He's shy because it's been a long winter and his body is not ready to be in a bathing suit. Bean Dave and I have this in common. All was going well Bean Dave's moving scripts until I had to save and step away, only to come back to everything being gone. 
who buys these? Nothing saved at all. I'll be honest, I considered quitting in this moment. You want to challenge me with a mild inconvenience and see if I break? You'll be surprised how quickly that'll happen. But as I said earlier in this video, I'm tired of working 75 hours a week and being unhappy. So I got back to work building the very basic character movement, and after more time than I care to admit, Bean Dave is moving, jumping, and playing air hockey. Moving around is great and all, but in order for this to be considered a game, we need an enemy. Now, eventually I'm going to spend time building out the enemy models, but for now, let's just get a good placeholder. This is enemy Enemy Bean. Everyone say hi to Enemy Bean. Now, fortunately, Unity has a nap mesh system, so really it's quite easy to simulate enemy movement in the beginning. But there was something lacking about this Bean enemy. I just can't place my finger on it. I wish the enemy was sweeter. Wait, sweeter. Sweet. Sweeney. This is Sweeney Bean. Everyone say hello to Sweeney Bean. Why is this so terrifying, yet I'm still weirdly attracted to it? Wait, what? Did, did you say something? It, it, it's a bean. You can't be attracted to a bean. That's crazy. Let's leave, let's first leave, of all, let's, okay, let's let me just, leave the skepticism no, 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 for no, no, one no, no, minute. No, no. I, I love just want you to just because because it's it's all Look, you guys can argue to the cast. Now, when I press play, I have this beautiful Sweeney bean coming after me. Oh no. What, whatever will I do? Oh no. Oh, it got me. Oh no. Shucks. There is one issue with Sweeney bean, and it's that there's not enough of them. There are so many Sweeney beans. I don't know if I'm terrified or in love. I think both. But I'm tired now, so I'm gonna pick this back up tomorrow. And make sure you smash that subscribe button before I smash you in a not weird way.